Hey guys, um, so I wanted to come to you really briefly tonight. Um, I'll wait till <clears throat> people hop on, but I wanted to chat with you a little bit about, you know, something that I've been experiencing because a lot of people think that because I've been really positive through this whole journey that it's been really easy. And just because I've been positive and trying to get better and working really hard in PT and got to come home from the hospital early, not early, but like, you know, ahead of schedule, it doesn't mean that any of this has been easy for me. Um, being positive and uh, working really hard to, you know, get out of the hospital and become independent, not independent, but like, um, hi Tony is, you know, it, it's, it's been great. And like, I'm really thankful that, you know, I've been able to get home because I'm healing a lot better at home, but it doesn't mean that like any of this is easy, right? It doesn't mean that, um, just because I've been really positive and posting daily and updating you guys and letting you know that I'm feeling good, all things considered, um, it's still hard. I mean, every day is still hard. Um, I'm exhausted still. I'm tired. I'm not as tired as I was, but I'm tired. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm incapacitated. I can't get anywhere without a wheelchair. Like, that's hard for me. I was so active before, you know, and to not even be able to go get a glass of water when I want one is really, really difficult. Um, but mentally, I'm just trying to stay strong so that I don't get myself really down. But I think there's a lot of people that think that I'm like, fine. Um, and I'm not fine, obviously. And I, I, you know, I've made a lot of really great progress, like getting excused or, you know, dismissed or whatever from my neurosurgeons. I don't have to go back and talk to anything about my brain surgery and getting dismissed from the plastic surgeon is a huge deal. And that's amazing. And I'm so, so, so thankful for those things. But, you know, I still have this fixator on my hips. It's still drilled into my pelvis. It's going to be there um, another couple of weeks at least. And it's still difficult. I still can't bear any weight. I can pivot on my left foot. So I pivot in and out of my wheelchair on my left foot. And it's really hard. And so I guess what I wanted to come on here and say is that, you know, just because if you're going through a hard time, um, you know, try to keep positive because it's really helped me heal and really helped me stay on track with my healing. Because I think that, you know, I saw it a lot in rehab. Like if you have a negative mindset, it's really going to affect your healing a lot more than you think. And people don't realize that. They don't realize like how much um, being positive can help your mindset. I mean, it's helped me. I can't even tell you. It's helped my physical healing more than I can ever express. And I just think that's so important. And it doesn't mean that I'm getting along amazingly. And it doesn't mean that I'm like, you know, doing jumping jacks because I'm not, I can't even walk guys. I literally can't even walk. I can't even physically stand. I pivot on my left foot, like not exciting stuff over here, but having that positive mindset has helped my healing so, so, so much. Um, and having you guys and being able to come on here and kind of just like chat and keep you updated and have people say that, you know, They've been following my journey because this is truthfully like a journey. It's a huge journey. Um, you know, going from people when they, you know, for those of you that don't know, I was hit by a car and the people that helped me until the ambulance got there thought I might be dead, literally. Like that's how much I was bleeding from my head. And that's crazy. Like that's crazy to me um, is that I went from, it's been a month. I went from, um, you know, being people thinking I was dead to, you know, being mentally, I'm totally a hundred percent sound. I literally like, I feel great, um, mentally and I'm not forgetting stuff. And at first I was, I, and I don't remember anything from the accident. So, um, you know, that part is probably good that I don't remember anything from the accident, 
but I don't remember anything and um, you know I feel good now about where I am mentally and um, they've done a lot of tests and they think that I'm doing okay but I just kind of wanted to come on and say that but just because I'm keeping a positive mindset doesn't mean that this is that this is easy for me it's not easy it's really hard for me and um, mentally it's it's a battle every single day you know to get up and and do this and you know things I took for granted like I haven't been able to take a shower in a month like how gross is that I take like these towel sponge baths it's not exciting at all um, but people tell me I'm not smelly so that's good I'm I'm doing a good job with my towel sponge baths but like stuff that you take for granted normally you know like being able to just jump in the shower and rinse off I can't do and being able to go get the mail I can't do and you know I miss walking the dogs and obviously it's gonna be a long while before I do that but I miss that stuff so I I just if you guys I just want to come on and say if you guys are going through something please I'm rambling I know I always ramble um, but if you guys are going through something, like, please keep that positive mindset and please know that, like, you're not alone. I've had so many people reach out to me and tell me about traumatic injuries they've been through that I had no idea, um, that they've been through this or friends that have been through traumatic injuries or people reaching out to me for advice, um, has been amazing. So don't be afraid to share your story and don't be afraid to reach out for support or help. It's, it's helped me remarkably on this journey and it's so important that you know I stay mentally strong because I just don't feel like I could have made this much progress if I didn't and I just don't want it to be mistaken for oh this is so easy for her she's you know just rocking this and I'm I, I mean I am rocking it I'm not saying I'm not but it's it's not easy it's hard every day is hard and I don't expect it to get easier and I don't just expect that as soon as I take this thing out of my pelvis that I'm just going to be able to like walk and run around. Hi Maggie. Um, walk and run around and be all crazy and I don't, you know, I don't expect that I'm going to go back to burpees. Although I miss burpees, which I never thought I'd say you guys, I've missed burpees. Um, and I miss my regular life, you know, I miss it and I'm stuck here all the time. I'm, I'm housebound. Um, I did, however go to stop and shop and ride i had to go get my prescription and ride one of those like cool like like um what do you call those the like motorized carts my husband just filled me in the motorized carts that was pretty awesome i did not crash um but you know and people stare at you and that's hard they're like well what's wrong with her like she's young why is she in a motorized car motorized cart and um you know, that's, that's hard for me, you know, and I will never, I'll tell you, I'll never judge anyone again, because if I saw someone like me in a motorized cart, I think they were just screwing around, but obviously I'm not screwing around. I physically cannot stand. So, um, it's, it's been hard and I don't, my mental strongness has helped me through this, but it doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't mean that, um, any day is any easier and every day is hard and every day is a battle. And I come on here for support and strength and to share with you guys, you know, what my days are like um, because they're tough, you know, they're tough and I can't really be alone. I have like a babysitter here all the time, it feels like, which is fine, but it's just my reality right now. So um, I'm doing well, I'll say that, like I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm just mentally, you know, mentally I'm struggling because I need, I know I need to stay strong in order to get through this. So that's what I wanted to say. And I really hope that if you're going through something that you choose to share and that you choose to, you know, take the high mental road and really make sure that it's mind over matter and that you get to where you need to be because I know that's a huge part of, of who I am and I'm that crazy girl that reads those personal development books and they've helped me more than I could ever tell you. I mean, they've helped me so much on this journey and it's been so hard, but um, every day I'm thankful that I did that for myself and every day I'm thankful that I've taken care of myself up to this point and my physical therapy is, you know, going so well because of that. So. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of, what the hell day is it? Wednesday? It's Wednesday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. Happy hump day. Woo woo. Um, and I will definitely, I go to my uh, primary care tomorrow. 
So I will update you guys. I don't expect anything exciting to come from that. I just have to see her to kind of update her on what's going on. She's going to be like, what happened to you? You're not here for a physical, huh? That should be interesting. Um, and I'll definitely update you guys if anything exciting happens. And then next week is when I go see the ortho. So that should be like a big day. I'll know a lot about what's going on then. And um, that will hopefully be my last surgery to have this out at some point. I won't have the surgery next week. Um, but I will have the surgery hopefully not too long after that. I'm just going in for x-rays and stuff. So anyway, great rest of your Wednesday. Thanks for listening to me blabber. I hope you guys, um, you know, use the mental strongness to really um, propel you on your journeys and, you know, make sure that you, um, you know, just, just rock. Just make sure that you rock whatever journey that you're on and work really hard to get back to where, where you um, were if you're going through something difficult. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.